one of the larger and well well established EMS providers uh, in the world uh, of electronics manufacturing. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> thank you for having us. We're here with Oliver Meme, yeah. uh, regional yeah. president EMEA actually yeah. for the company. Thank you very much for having us. Yeah, Plexus, year almost over. How did it go for the European operations actually of the company? went really well. So uh, in EMEA specifically, we grew 46% last year. So fantastic growth. Mm -hmm. um, and I think reflecting you know, strategically, what's more important for me in that is that growth was really with existing customers. Okay. And if you think about uh, you know, our, our internal mantra is always quality products on time at a fair price. And mm -hmm. so uh, the fact that we're growing with our existing customers suggests mm -hmm. to me that our value proposition yeah. is working. They're, they're feeling it. And so mm -hmm. they trust us with more of their product and more of their demand. So, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> you have several uh, European locations, Romania being a big manufacturing hub, yeah. but you also have one in Germany, yeah. Darmstadt. Darmstadt Design Center. And uh, Kelso and Livingston in, the, in Scotland. Yeah. <clears throat> Is this actually a setup that you think would work for the future as well, like having design in those three locations and the manufacturing over there? Yeah, yeah. We're actually really <clears throat> happy with our footprint. You know, I think. Um, <laughs> Whether it's by luck or brilliance with this uh, Brexit mm -hmm. phenomenon yeah. going on right now, mm -hmm. we find ourselves in a really good spot, right? So we've got manufacturing capability from inside the UK. Yeah. We've got manufacturing capability in Eastern Europe. And uh, what we find is we're, we're, we're engaging with our customers and they feel very comfortable that regardless mm -hmm. of how things play out, yeah. we're going to be able to fulfill demand for them. So certainly uh, we have flexibility if we need to perhaps shift them one from one mm. facility to another, depending on where their end market demand is, we can do that. Yeah. And so uh, having that production footprint the way it is, I think is, is really strong. Uh, and then having design centers, both uh, co-located uh, close to those yeah. manufacturing <laughs> facilities, as well as the uh, design center here in, uh, in Germany, really enables mm. us to connect to that market. So we're really happy with the footprint. Yeah. So <clears throat> being happy with the footprint, does yeah. it still mean that you're gonna add to your footprint in Europe? in the future? We, well, uh, in terms of actual uh, additional <laughs> locations, I think that might be a little bit further out. Uh, I think in the near term, what we see is an, a need to continue to expand. So uh, what we're seeing is a- All is locations. A, uh, well, uh, yeah, so <laughs> uh, let, me, let me be more specific. So if you, if you look at what our customers, where we're getting a lot of traction right mm. now, is on a lot of high complexity, high regulatory spaces, so healthcare life sciences, aerospace defense, mm. uh, and companies are coming to us for the full value streams. They want us to do the design, they want us to do the production, mm. so this is part of what differentiates us from the rest of the EMS yeah. segment. Yeah. And uh, so they're bringing us these opportunities, and so we're seeing uh, a significant demand in that regard. We're having mm. to increase our engineering headcount considerably, uh, and that's okay. resulted in recent expansions in our Aradia Design Center, our Darmstadt Design Center, and we see some additional expansions from an engineering perspective in the coming year as well so um, what numbers are we actually looking at employee numbers <coughs> you said you expanded um, yeah yeah I would need to get back to you with some specific numbers mm. on that. Yeah, yeah. but it's a lot it's a lot yeah. okay yeah. Uh, Plexus also being you know you mentioned Brexit uh, Plexus is actually a US based company yeah. so uh, possible tariffs on that one, you said the footprint for Brexit is actually a good one. Yeah. How does it look if we're adding more problems down yeah. the line? Yeah. So, so great <laughs> question. I think uh, clearly difficult to, to you know hmm. understand where yeah. that's going to go, how that dynamic's going to play out. <laughs> but again, I think whether by luck or, or strategic hmm. forethought, we're in, we're in a good spot. So we have uh, we have footprint in China. Hmm. Mm -hmm. um, enables us to fulfill for those companies that want to have and market to have demand in China, so in China for China. And uh, but this, by the same by the same token, we're not overexposed in that regard. Mm -hmm. So our Chinese our revenue from our Chinese footprint is only about 10% of our global revenue. Oh, okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then we've made some recent expansions. So you know, customers mm -hmm. are going to be looking at potential other geographies to fulfill their yeah. demand. Um, and we've invested in additional footprint in our Penang, uh, Malaysia area, mm -hmm. and we've also made recent expansions for another building in our Guadalajara oh, okay. campus. Yep. And so what we see there is a, is a good opportunity for us to, to be able to be flexible with our customers and fulfill from different geographies as they yeah. need to. Uh, during our discussion, before our interview, we talked about you know the different market segments and uh, you or your colleague actually yep. mentioned medical design uh, services that you have and yep. you actually have a corporation that you sort of talk about here at the booth. 
Yeah. Uh, what is it exactly? Yeah. So we uh, we do a lot of work in healthcare life sciences. Mm -hmm. I think it's a it's a really strong market for us. Uh, and again, we do a lot of these full value stream developments. So we're doing the engineering and we're doing the, mm -hmm. the manufacturing. Uh, in the booth, we have a couple examples. Um, and uh, the one I think we like to talk about is uh, with Hologic. So mm -hmm. there's a breast biopsy machine, and uh, they brought that to us. We've done the full design for that. We're producing it out of our Nina, Wisconsin manufacturing facility. Oh. Yep. And uh, one of the neat things there is is uh, for the handheld device, which is going to have higher volumes and it's a lot of complexity, a lot of small parts. We've also designed a fully automated manufacturing line to help improve unit cost, to help improve quality and repeatability. Mm -hmm. And so we brought that all to, all to bear for our customer and are currently fulfilling demand out of out of Nina, Wisconsin. So you think uh, medical is going to be the future growth market growth? Well, sector really. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I think uh, I wouldn't want to maybe maybe play it um, that that cleanly. I would say that we do business with all sectors in EMEA, so healthcare, life sciences, aerospace, defense, industrial, commercial, communications. Um, we see more traction, I think, in healthcare, life sciences, and aerospace and defense. Um, so I think there is more traction. I think that comes to the, the, those companies. <laughs> Really value that full value stream. They want they you know they look at what their technical competency is and what they think is important to them and what they want to keep inside. And they say, yeah. well, you know, we want you to develop this whole device for us, produce it for us, and then ship that to our customers. So they're happy to engage with a full partnership like that. Perfect. Well, then, thank you very much for an interesting conversation. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to make sure to come back two years from now to see how that worked out. Very thank good. you very much. Looking forward to it. Thanks. Thank you.